good afternoon everyone in today's class i would like to discuss you regarding national iodine deficiency disorder control program so in this national iodine disorder deficiency control program the first one that we are going to discuss is regarding goiter so what is this goiter abnormal enlargement of the butterfly shaped gland below the adam's apple which is known as thyroid is called as goiter a goiter commonly develops a goiter commonly develops as a result of iodine deficiency or inflammation of thyroid gland a goiter is developing as a result of iodine deficiency or a inflammation of thyroid gland not all goiters cause symptoms symptoms that occur might include swelling and coughing and rarely symptoms may include throat tightness and trouble breathing because since the thyroid gland is situated below your below the adam's apple since it is above the airway means anterior to the airway it, it can cause obstruction to the airway when it was enlarged so that's what you may have breathing problem a small goiter does not cause signs and symptoms but it need it may not and it may not need any kind of treatment but in some conditions in some severe conditions it may need it may need surgery coming to the topic national iodine deficiency disorder control program so as i said what is this goiter this goiter is a enlargement of thyroid gland this goiter is enlargement of the thyroid gland since so this goiter control program it was launched in the year 1902 and uh, and it was started at the end of ken five year plan with the following objectives so what are the following objectives here mainly they they want to identify the goiter endemic regions they want to identify goiter endemic regions and they want to supply the iodized salt because iodine is the major cause which is causing the goiter there so that's what they want to supply the iodized salt so that the goiter cause is being reduced and they want to assess the impact want to assess the impact of goiter control measures over a period of time in order to control the problem of goiter and they want to supply what they want to supply iodized salt and it was conditioned to be available for the, all the people who are living in the endemic areas who are living in the endemic areas annual requirements for of iod site could be extent of 60% means they cannot they are not able to meet the requirements why because there is difficulty in procurement as well as distribution and poor production of salt both qualitatively and quantitatively and the survey to identify the endemic region was very slow so coming to this national iodine deficiency control program it it was realized that iodine is very essential micronutrient for the growth and development and its deficiency not only causes goiter but it also it also leads to other disorders such as abortions birth mental retardations deafness mutism squinting neuromotor defects so this iodine is not only helping the goit uh, helping the thyroid gland but its de its deficiency can lead to the other signs and symptoms such as abortions mental retardation deafness mutism squint and other motor neuromotor defects and the national goiter control program it was renamed as national iodine deficiency disorder control program nothing but nidcp mainly to have wider coverage of the following objectives to have to cover the following objectives first one is to undertake the surveys and to assess the magnitude of iodine deficiency disorders they mainly they want to undertake the surveys to assess the magnitude to assess the level of iodine deficiency disorders and to supply and to supply iodized iodated salt in place of common salt so mainly they are mixing the iodine required amounts of iodine in the common salt so that the daily requirement by the body is met through the met through the diet the condition and to conduct surveys to assess the impact of control measures after every 5 years so this was changed into national iodine deficiency disorder control program mainly to to conduct the surveys and to assess the impact of control measures for every 5 years 
and to undertake monitoring of the quality of iodized salt and urinary iodine in excretion and mainly to conduct health education and publicity regarding iodine deficiency disorders and their prevention and their control measures so these are the objectives that had taken under the national iodine deficiency control disorders control program so what are the future plans here the states to complete survey in the remaining district to assess the exact magnitude of iodine deficiency disorder so they want to identify what is the exact magnitude of this iodine deficiency disorder and to further strengthen the IEC activities with focus on remote rural and black tribal areas as well as urban slums using appropriate channels of communication to promote the consumption of iodized salt so they want to first of all they want to increase the activities they want to increase the activities in rural areas in tribal areas and in urban slums and they want to use appropriate communication they want to use appropriate communication techniques mainly to promote the use of mainly to promote the consumption of iodized salt so that the problems which is caused due to the deficiency of this iodine can be restricted and the next one is to strengthen existing system of iodine deficiency disorder monitoring to ensure supply of good quality iodated salt at reasonable rate preferably through public distribution systems mainly through public distribution systems they want to they want to supply good quality of iodated salt so that the daily requirement needed by the person is met properly the other one is to control the problem of iodine deficiency disorder to sustain reduction in its prevalence so whenever the government is able to provide the required amount of iodine the required amount of iodine to the people then the problems which were associated with this iodine deficiency disorder it can be prevented the prevalence rate also get reduced so that the persons may the persons can be saved so the person may save from getting this iodine deficiency disorders coming to the brief of this topic this national iodine deficiency disorder program first it was launched as a national goiter control program it was launched as a national goiter control program and later on this national goiter control program it was changed into national iodine deficiency disorder control program and um, the main objective of this program is to control the iodine deficiency disorders especially the goiter and other disorders which are associated with iodine thanks for listening if you have any queries you can contact me through my whatsapp and through my email